Oh, okay. We are live on my YouTube channel. Welcome, everybody. I'm here with my new friend that I just made here today. Of course, I've known Linda for a while and always just loved connecting with Linda, but she had just joined last night, yesterday, Gift Fearless Freedom. So I'm going to be interviewing Linda, asking her a few questions here. She's going to share her story. Um, I just think it's important for people to understand why they love Get Fearless Freedom, why we're kind of making this wave with Get Fearless Freedom online, and why it's the newest high ticket. Well, sort of mid ticket. I won't call it a real high ticket, but we have the, of course, 1000 level. So most people love to plant their flag here. And of course, you can use it for any business opportunity. So welcome, Linda, for thank you, for, Tammy, uh, for having me. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. We've been talking a little bit and, of course, just um, sharing some of our our experiences. And so how long have you been online and how long have you been marketing your your brand? Well, I've been actually be 12 years in September that I've been online. Okay. I, lost, I, I worked in cancer research for 16 years. I lost my job in August of 2011. And at that time, the job market, people were getting like 1,500 resumes even after looking for a year, I couldn't find, and what I did was very specialized. So there weren't a lot of jobs anyway. I couldn't find another job. And I was about a month after I lost, I was still looking for jobs, but I don't, I don't even, I knew somehow people were making money online. I literally went to Google. I searched, make money online. I bought a replicated website. We were just talking, and I um, set up some pay-per-click ads, which I knew nothing. I didn't know how to do. I spent $3,000. I was sending that traffic to a replicated website, which you never want to do. That's not, that's not what a replicated website's for. Right. <laughs> I got clicks and nothing converted. And then I know now that you don't want to do that and those don't convert. And then I guess it was about a year later, I was still looking for a job. And my frustration one night, I ended up on Facebook and I saw this ad coming up the side that said 100% commissions. And that was the first thing I really joined. That was a, it's not around anymore. I've been with probably like at least 15 companies that aren't around anymore. And I started meeting people. I didn't know this space existed. And I was like, I just, my initial thing was I wanted to replace the income from that job. That's okay. what I wanted to do. So I'm meeting all these people and I'm seeing people make $100,000 in a single day, $50,000 in a single day. I'm thinking, damn, these people are making a lot of money. <laughs> and, and my mom, I got really big, like my, I can make that kind of money too. I can make right. more money than I ever could at a job. And I started meeting people and it really is about, building relationships. So, I mean, after a year, I realized I needed to get around somebody who was, you know, it, making money, doing what I wanted to do. And I ended up, I heard Diane Hockman on a call for a network marketing company that I joined. Yes. That company got shut down. Oh. And um, I went to check Diane out, went to her blog and I joined, and I'm still with it. It's a, it's a lead generation system. I'm still with that company and learning from her because you can't, you, you can't do this by yourself. You, you, you really can't. Um, and my, the whole year I spent running pay-per-click ads and to a replicated website and getting around her and learning from somebody who's already done it. And you're meeting all these people, you know, I've met other people like, um, you know, I couldn't understand when I first got on, people say blessed and grateful a lot. I'm thinking, what's up with that? Um, and I'd say personal development's really what, I mean, like I learned from Ray Higdon, like today's Wealth Wednesday. I right. make it, I, if I'm out, I wasn't in Walmart today. If I was in Walmart, I would go stick a $20 bill. I have cards in a diaper thing for someone to find, or if I'm in a drive through like Taco Bell, I pay for the person behind me. Or now I just make a habit. I go to a website that I make a donation every Wednesday. They mm. do um, they do child sex trafficking. I like that one. Feeding orphans and building water wells. I mean, it's your and my, your mindset's ninety five percent of this. That will hold you. I mean, I really think you should do the mindset work before you learn the marketing, because if True. your mind's not right, you're not going to do anything. And most people face it. Most people. I mean, I have somebody who's been following me for a while, and she, she's probably spent about twenty thousand dollars in the system that I've been in. And yeah, I've made probably about half of that. She's maybe made three or four posts uh, on Facebook. And and I said to Diane, I said she spent like loads of money and she hasn't made any. Diane said to me because she doesn't want to make money. Right. I mean, I came here to make, I, and I didn't come here to make an extra five hundred or thousand dollars. If you want to do that, great. But that's not what I came here for. So. 
I mean, I met a lot of people. I went to some live events when we were still having them before COVID, meeting some people in person that I had met on Facebook. And that's really how I got started. And I mean, I'm not, you know, and I did in April, I made $14,000. That's the most I've made in a month since I've been doing this. I made over six grand in a day, which I never had made that much money in a single day and certainly not at a job. So, I mean, if I can do it, Anybody can do this. I mean, I work harder than most people. And if you give me something, I'm not going to, I'm not going to sign up for something and never sign up, get log in. I think that's stupid. Right. And that's what I loved. I was like, wow, you just joined yesterday. And then you posted in our group and our free group that we have that people can check it out. And you can, of course, invite, you know, your crew in there and then let them know what this community is about. But in one day you have like eight Craigslist ads up. Like you're already like mastering the lead generation strategies that I teach and train and give fearless freedom. And like I was telling you before we start recording, there's really only four or five honey holes that I go to every single day. I have solo ad traffic. I still believe hugely in email marketing. I have, of course, a YouTube channel, a Facebook and Craigslist. That's it. <laughs> Like we don't have to go through all these like pay-per-click, you know, learning curves. I know exactly what you're talking about because I remember the pay-per-click. You'd go and you'd say, okay, now I want an X amount of clicks on this website. And then, like you said, you'd send them to where? And I didn't even know what a capture page was at the time. I didn't even know what an autoresponder was. Here, like Linda, you'll find out, I send out an email to your leads every day through the email portal. <laughs> And so all you have to focus on is lead generation because I'm the email, they say, queen and expert. So you don't even have to set up your autoresponder emails, you know? So right. within how many minutes were you up and running? I'm, I mean, and I got a couple capture. It was, I don't know, 30 minutes. I had a, I put a set up a couple capture pages. Yeah. I went into my AWeber because what I like to do is like I made one fit list for Facebook, one there you for go. And then I've got ones for Craigslist because I want to know where my leads are coming from. Yeah, so I get five leads and they came from my YouTube channel because I want to know if, if that's not working, if I can do something else. So I, I was setting that up and I send one e initial email from me saying, hey, you know, it's me. You are, you okay. found my you found me on social media you found, and just to say hi. Um, and I have a newsletter that I do that too, because when I'm talking to people, if you if you message me and you had a question you want to I, and Diane taught me this. I get their email address. I have generated a lot of leads that way. I'm not going to give somebody my time, especially now. If they have two questions, it depends on how I feel if I'm going to answer two. But I got people messaging me like that. So I get their email address first and get them on my, my email list. That's exactly what I tell people. And I learned it from her too. I got to see Diane. I got to see Ray Higdon and Eric Worre. And that's, I've taken all the accumulation of over the 12 years of all those events and all of my lead generation strategies and, and put it into Get Fearless Freedom <laughs> in the back office. And that's the cool part about Get Fearless Freedom is we're going to have to where, hey, if you want the acts, if you want a, 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 you know, a training back there, I have many, many people that have done that. Of course, the whole level is is from one of my members, you know, so we're always adding it's a, it's an evergreen platform. But at the same time, it's also where we can improve upon the existing Content there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I know Ray, Ray really helped me because I was, I was, um, in, in, I'm in rank makers, but his mindset stuff and the whole thing with yep. wealth Wednesday, because I, I mean, and I didn't, I didn't learn this till I got in this space. We're all stewards. And the more money you make, the more good you can do in the world. And I saw a guy that went to a Very Walmart true. near me. He went in and I, I want to be making enough money. I can do this one. I thought this was sick. Well, he went into Walmart. He went to the customer service desk and he paid everything that was sitting there that was on layaway. He, he went to one of the, and you know, the cashiers in Walmart aren't that friendly. And he went and he wanted to be sure. left anonymous. He didn't leave his name. I thought that was so cool that you have enough money that you could go do that. Like as somebody who's a single mom and she goes into Walmart in just Christmas because she wants to buy her kids some toys. So she puts them on layaway to be able to do that. I mean, I, it, and he, he was saying, he said, he goes, when I give away money, I, it makes me feel good. And that is true. When you give money to somebody to just to help them. And he said, the more money you make, the more you can do that. And I was like, really like, I, I mean, I hadn't thought about it like that. <laughs> no, it's true. And I mean, what I did before, I don't know if you've seen the one Zoom, but I gave away two of these 
you know. When, yeah, I did see that. And you were talking about you're a baseball fan too. My team swept yes. your team. <laughs> What's that? My team swept your team. Oh, I'm really? A baseball fan. Yeah. I was there last week when the Phillies were playing Milwaukee and they won. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. No, I saw yeah, you. And I'm originally from New York, so the Yankees. And then, of course, the Yankees get a bad rap because they're always, you know, winning the, the World Series. But yeah. yeah. And now I'm out here in Arizona and we went and saw the, the what was it? The Cardinal. I always say the Cardinals. That's a football team. The Diamondbacks, the Arizona Diamondbacks, we went to see. Yeah. And they were playing against Pittsburgh. So. Yeah. And they're, they're doing, they have a good team. They do. So, yeah. No, I thought I'd let you know that that my team swept each other. That my team went they're just so I feel like I need a 12-step program because watching them, it's just because and last year nobody thought they'd make it to the World Series. I've been watching them since I was eight years old. Oh, wow. So I've seen them when they've absolutely sucked. But that and I was I, I wanted to say that to you, but yeah, so yeah. <laughs> That's cool. I'm a football fan too. So after Labor Day. <laughs> yeah, after Labor Day, then you switch, you're like you're like us. I like, well, we like the bills we're like diehard bills fans they'll never probably win but yet we're always there like oh but you were living you know? in buffalo right you yeah, were we used to. Okay. yeah we're up from upstate yeah yeah so well, that's pretty cool i think your background it's amazing um you're an amazing you know uh contribution to the to the whole community and that's what i wanted is when i launched this in 2019 this platform, I wanted it to be that community feel because I'm like you, I didn't want to do it alone. And there's so many groups out there. I understand, but most of them just had just them talking on the zooms. Whereas I'm, of course, we're doing this today and I, we're doing the one-on-one, -on -one, but what, what I like to specialize in is like on Saturday zooms. And then I did two last week, a Wednesday and a Saturday, but you know, what we do is we do have the, the sessions where we can talk about the unique software parts like the Craigslist software. And, you know, because when I was on Craigslist, my ads, I would have to manually reply every time someone would say, hey, can you send me more information? Well, if I'm out and about having fun with the family, I'm not gonna, do that. I don't want to have to oh yeah, here's my website. So now we have the auto reply where it sends them the capture page and boom, they get to opt in. Now they're on your list, all on automation. <laughs> well, that's, I mean, it's automation quite a, is quite a neat little tool but, and that's at I the mean, 500 level. The automation, I mean, because that works what I did with the prospecting. I, it uh -huh. totally works. Most people probably won't. I mean, I was talking to hundred to 150 people a day. And then following up with them, you can't get on Facebook for even an hour or two to do that. And it just, I mean, I guess it's better to say it works smarter than harder because you can't, I mean, it does cost money to automate it stuff. If you're broke, go borrow some money or go drive Uber or something to come up with some money because you can automate stuff like that with the, the Craigslist autoresponder, because I've done that too, where I've been getting people to respond to an ad, it goes to my Gmail account, and then I got to go in there, I got to respond, I got to send them the link to the funnel. And it's it, then you're kind of glued to your, you know, I can do it from my phone, but I just don't want to be doing that anymore. Yeah, I'm glad you have it now. <laughs> No, I mean, automate, I mean, there's a lot, and it's leverage too. You're automating stuff, you're leveraging, and then you're using a system. And I, when I first started, I didn't really have any of that. I had people telling me you don't need an autoresponder, which. Oh, wow. <laughs> I know there's still top sponsors and leaders that I know one that's a very, she's a diamond and, and she, she almost lost her Facebook account. I've had two and three people and they still, they're so stubborn. They're just like, well, no, I don't want to learn what you do, Tammy. And I said, well, this is how I've ranked the leaderboards is because I have a list. I can send an offer out to my list. I've been teaching this for a long, long time. Shoot out an offer to your list. You're going to get on the leaderboard. It's going to happen if you've built your list and you've built that, that no like and trust with your list mm -hmm. and you run some repeat. I did this in 2013, <laughs> you know? For a, for a weight loss company. And they were like, how'd you do that? You did. I don't understand. And I said, you just, I just sent them to a capture page. I was taught how to send traffic to a capture page. And they're just like, ah, you know, it's, it's like some people still believe it or not in 2023, still try to do with a, like what you're talking about, replicated site, not collecting the lead. It's just so much work. You know, you can do it, but why, why do it? 
when you have a system like this and I teach the lead generation. I know people who bought solo ads and sent solo ad traffic to like either a sales page or a replicated website. And like like some guys messaging me, I said, you just wasted about whatever you spent on that solo ad because say you don't get any, you might get a sale or two, but all those leads you could have potentially gotten that people would have opted in to see what you're looking at. I said, you just, you missed that. You get one, you know, giving yourself one chance for people to talk to you because they go off your page, they're gone. And, And people who do that, they buy and then like, or they're running a Facebook ad to a sales page. Wow. I know. I don't get it. I'm like, why not collect the lead? <laughs> it's a simple, simple thing. Right. And if you drip feed them emails, if you don't have a, but this is, this is actually better if you're running click Craigslist ads. If you're doing something else you want in your funnel, you want follow-up email messages because it, you know, yeah, I get sales on first touch. I do do that, but most people are going to have to visit a website. I think it's like between five and 12 times before they make a buying decision. It keeps it's going true. up. Too, actually, it's so true. I have a stats I could pull up uh, in my Facebook group. It's between you're exactly right. Five to 12 and even sometimes 20 touches Pers- before someone will even join you. Yes. Well, with all the fraud and everything and people really wanting to know that you're real, I'm not surprised about that because I have people that will, I mean, the person who somebody hacked my Instagram account and then deleted it, people are very savvy and you can even have a double opt-in log log in on your, on your accounts and people are still going to get in. Um, So yeah, people are, I think are more skeptical than ever. Yeah. when they see so and this and this industry does have a bad rap because I mean I lost like forty thousand dollars when I first got online just being ripped off. Yep. And when it came so, time for the company to pay you, the company sure. and the owners were gone. So the industry's got a bad reputation. And yeah, there are people out there ripping people off, but that's where the building relationship comes in. If you need to stay on somebody's list for six months and hear from them before you make a decision. But I mean the situations I was always in, I was desperate to make some money. So I couldn't sit around you know, wait, <laughs> like, let me get to know you and, and get six months of your emails. And then maybe I'll do something. Yeah. Can, so No, I was the same way. I was looking for something, you know, 12 years ago. And I thought to myself, well, heck, if I can leverage a webinar and I don't have to explain anything, then give me the site. I want it, you know? And ever since that, I've just been kind of like, oh yeah, this is the easiest thing for me. And it's like, that you get into that, like that, that, what do they call that? Kevin Trudeau talked about it, where you're literally just, you're self-conscious. It just takes over and you just know what to do every day. Like that's what I'm there in my career. That's where I'm at. And then of course, all of my leaders, they know my DMO. I it's, everybody has a DMO. You know, I wake up, I work 90 minutes on my lead generation, and then I get to hang out with amazing members like you. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and I'm just like, hey, let's have some fun today. Let's have some coffee. I mean, it's like, you know, let the website do the telling and selling explain because that's what it's there for, you know. And I think I've redone the seven minute video three times now. I'm always like giving it a fresh new update. <clears throat> you know what I mean? But yeah, in February, I just decided I'm going to install the 500 and the 1000 level and it's instant payment. So you don't have to wait 30 days. You don't have to wait you know, so long to get paid. You're literally refer today, you get paid today. And I love the the get paid now. Yeah. Platform. And you don't have to worry about owners. And I've had this happen to me, the owners, you got money sitting there that, you know, you earned and you're wondering when and when you're going to get paid and then poof, or t- I mean, I've, there's some things I've waited five months, which I think wow. is ridiculous. Um, the own a higher ticket thing, you know, it's yep. not like a hundred or two hundred dollars. And I just think that that's, I mean, to have to wait that length of time. And I have like some of my own products. I like it because it goes right to my Stripe account. And I can get it, and it's a hundred percent. So yeah, and there's no, I mean, you're always going to pay Stripe or somebody or Cash App some fees for handling the transaction. But I've been with so many companies that people were waiting around for them to get paid, and then the company's gone, and then the, your money's gone, and it's poof. It's, it's always a bad sign when the website's down. I've had yeah. a couple of places I've joined. Oh yeah, me too. I've I've went to log in and then it's not even there, you know, yeah. or or a network marketing company or you know, and there's there's horror story after horror story with network marketing companies. But I've logged in and they've taken away my downline, you know, and it's just after a while, it's just like oh my gosh you know, I love this space. And like you say, it's personal development, really. But I love this space because it's been able to, you know, help me even last year with one of my surgeries, 
I mean, I had a parathyroid surgery and I was like able to just work it because of having a website. I couldn't talk for the, like the whole month of last July. I couldn't even talk. So I'm like, well, just leverage a system, you know, leverage an automated system. And that's what this is. This is literally an automated system. And yeah, that's the cool part. Yeah, you know, the money you can make here, um, and some of you that may come and watch this video, either if you're on Tammy's channel or mine, you may not believe it, that like I, I made $6,000 in a day or $14,000 a month. And I know Tammy's done more than that, but it's true. I mean, and I never, I was not making that kind of money. I made decent money when I'm still working at my job, but I was also spending 40 to 50 hours a week and I had a two to three hour commute. I, that's how long I was in my car every day. And I do not miss that. <laughs> no, exactly. I know it's like yesterday. I mean, I, I pinched myself and I'm still so grateful. It's like $2,000 days are so easy. Um, and it's just like, before I even woke up, I had that in my cash app, you know, and I'm just like, wow, this month is, is July where it's supposed to be slow, but it's been one of my best months yet in July. And so we're just getting into the fall season and it's going to be even more explosive, you know? Um, because it's a home-based business time <laughs> and yeah, everybody knows, the, yeah right before the holidays what happens everybody wants to make more money for the holidays and things like that and then of course times are changing so fast everybody's like well what am I going to do for plan b you know <laughs> right right no, they can't fly on their job anymore 35,000 people just got laid off again I heard another friend of mine on on Facebook said that her husband was thought he had this you know, guaranteed thing with the union or whatever, but no, 35,000 people just got laid off. Again, automation has taken over. So and a lot more jobs are going to be lost to AI. Over and, yep. That's why this automated business, that's why it's like recession proof, because you know, if you can have an internet access, you can have, if you have a system, you can make money. <laughs> Yeah. And I'm, and I'm not telling anybody, I mean, yeah, I've had accounts lost on social media. You still want to use social media, but really my advice to you is I would pick one free strategy and one paid if you're starting out, even if you don't have a big budget. I was broke. I mean, I was in foreclosure at one point, foreclosure and bankruptcy. I mean, I, and I, so I had to spend time. You got to spend something. If you're not spending time, then you got to spend money. And I've done both. Um, but if you can't pick one, pick a social media site that you like and master it and then pick a paid strategy, even if you only have like a hundred dollar budget, because if you don't have a list, if you're just starting out, you won't have a list. You won't have a following on any social media platform, unless you've got an audience somewhere that you have a big influence over, you know, if you're not doing those things, you're probably going to struggle to make any money at first. I mean, I didn't make a dime my whole first year. I ran in the red for four. Um, and I was on and I was I was doing stuff and I was generating some leads, but not making a lot of money. I mean, and just mm -hmm. recently what's happened to me. I mean, I make a joke. I'm a 12 year overnight success story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 12 years. Um, but if you, my, that's my advice. Don't shy away from social media. And I have done 5,000 videos and had multiple accounts. The more you use a site, whether it's Facebook or YouTube or Instagram, you're more likely to run into problems if you follow their guidelines. I think YouTube's probably one of the best. I've maybe gotten a few strikes in the, the, like the 10 years I've been on YouTube and yeah. TikTok probably the worst. I mean, Facebook the other day, I wished somebody a happy birthday in a private group and they issued me a community guidelines violation. That's what happened to me on Facebook yesterday. <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, there. I, I think they've all, and I think Facebook has gotten worse too. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I'm I'm trying to I'm fighting with them about the I had charges on my account. The person that hacked my Instagram again. There's like seven hundred over seven hundred dollar balance. I didn't run any ads on Facebook, and those charges are sitting there. I said my account got hacked. They they charged my bank cards. My bank closed my accounts out. I had to go get all new accounts. I said I didn't do this, and you guys are so hard to get a hold of. I said, I'm just asking you to take this and just, you know, I didn't, I shouldn't have to eat these charges because I didn't make them. So I don't know how they're going to rule, but um, getting in touch with them, uh, you can send a thing into their support. I did a YouTube video about that, but the reality is nobody's going to answer you directly with Facebook. No. no, they won't on Facebook. You're right. Luckily I had won it because I was like, well, that was a mistake. I can't remember what it was. It was some, someone had added me into one of those darn chats and I said, oh, wow, I have a home-based business that might, you might be interested in. And 
before you know it, someone must have said something to me against community. Well, why are you adding me into a an, into a home based business chat to get my advice if you don't want to hear from me? Then, <laughs> wow. Now yeah. people people do that on all. I mean, all the, they'll add you into a, a group chat that you didn't ask to be added into. Or I've had people. It seems like too people aren't using the Facebook groups as much for posting. When I first got on my news feed with people posting that people aren't doing that as much. I, I don't know if that's what, what's that's about, but the chat groups, I've had a number of people, I end up, I'm in this chat group that I didn't ask to be in. Yeah. Same here. I don't know. It's a strange thing. All these community chats are pop, popping up. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, maybe that'll have to be a whole nother training for our modules <laughs> in the back office. Well, I uh, use messenger a lot. I mean, if you do, mm-hmm. if you do message a lot, you'll, Facebook is probably going to come back. I used to break it up. If I was messaging 150 people, I do like 50 in the morning and then 50 in the afternoon and 50 at night because they will, when they think that you're doing something too much, they will, and you'll get a a warning or something. But Mm -hmm. lately, I mean, the thing with the happy birthday, there's some things I'm seeing Facebook do that just seems so out of, I I mean, that to me is ridiculous. If you're in a private group and you leave a comment, you know, unless unless it's something you know, you're using foul language. That was just saying happy birthday. They just, I don't know if they're just trying to crack down or what, but now you, th- you said that you had it happen. I mean, Facebook has gotten, I think they've gotten worse with some other things. Yeah. Um, and you're trying to, I mean, just, just keep in mind, if you're serious about this and you stay online long enough and you're using social media, you're going to run into some of these blow roadblocks. It depends on what you, how you ha- decide to handle it. That's correct. Yeah, that's correct. That's why I just was um, telling you that the mentoring sessions that I do, I talk to people and I tell them about my YouTube to my list strategy. And it, you know, like I'm teaching people how to build a list. Let me email your people because I know the proper way. I know what to say in an email to get people to buy. And it's how it's growing this community is with through my email portal. And, you know, and it's really super cool. I'll show just so that your subscribers can see it too as well. Okay. Um, all I do is I log into, this is a, obviously the current Get Fearless Freedom page, but all I have to do is we have our little pages where we create our you know standard capture page, which that's no secret. So you're driving people to a simple capture page, either from Craigslist, a solo ad, so that we don't always have to rely on social media. We can even do company co-ops, which I'm organizing now for the fall, and we can go into offline strategy. So we always have our system. It's never, it's never a problem. So then once you're a member, um, this is a bridge page example. Once you're a member, um, I'm just going to log in here into my back office of Get Fearless Freedom. Whoopsie. And you do this, you follow up every, you're, you're sending emails out every single day, right? Yeah. Every day to people that are building their list. So I have a portal in here that's just for the admin for mine. So I'm the only one that has the portal, um, obviously, because no one wants to send out emails for tens of thousands of people. So I have my own done for you email portal back here. I'm the only one that has it online. All these other systems makes their people figure out how to set up their Aweber, figure out how to set up their Get Responsible. I don't do any of that. I just tell people, create a list, hook it in. It's a one-click funnel hookup right here. You just click that, you know? So people are going in here, they submit their list name, boom, it's done that fast. They don't even have to put an HTML code in there. And then I come in here and then I send out, you can see all the subject line, like, hey, ready for tomorrow. Like when we do a, a Zoom on Saturday, ready to come to Saturday Zoom and I'll come in here and then I put my Zoom link in here, send it off. This is where I go. I click send and that's it. It goes out to all of the people that are the member, goes to all their leads on their list. And and I never see a lead of theirs. I never collect a lead. I mean, I know there's other company owners that do that. It happened to me last year. And there's still company owners out there with the, some of these high tickets that literally start pitching their members different things. I know it because I, I'm what was one of them. It used to drive me crazy. And so, I will say, if you're looking at a program and whether you join this with us or with Tammy or me, 
you want to find out, are they taking your leads? Because a lot yeah. of them, they'll do all the follow-up. You're giving, and if it's not going, if you're not getting those leads on a list in like an autoresponder or AWeb or get response, you're giving the company your leads. You don't yes. want to do that. So yeah, I'm not- you giving your company the leads. And right here, we have the hookup where you can hook up your autoresponder. And the cool part about it is, uh, Linda, I sent you the getting started guide. I asked you, hey, do you need any assistance? And you're like, it's done. And and this morning I wake up and you already got Craigslist ads up. I'm like, talk about simple system to get set up. I, I've de demonstrated that it's about nine minutes to get a system set up here with Get Fearless Freedom, about nine minutes. It's a one-click funnel too, um, but you were going to say something about the autoresponder part. Yeah, um, I mean, this the, the what Tammy's showing you here, most companies if you don't want to do the email follow-up, they just, they basically take your leads. They are sending emails out on your behalf, but you don't even have those leads in an autoresponder that you can keep talking to them because that's, that's the only thing you really own online and all the social media accounts I've had, you don't want to do that. If that's, if that's the only option with that program that you can't get, you know, people that, the, those opt-ins onto a list that you've got in your own responder, go find find another program. I'm not saying you got to come join Tammy or me, but you want to look at that when if you're looking at a program because you, you're giving them your leads and you don't want to, and I've done that in the past too. You don't want to do that. No, I have too. Yeah, we've made all the bad mistakes in the affiliate marketing <laughs> space. Yeah, I've made, I've made a million. <laughs> I've made so many. And then I said, you know what, let's, let's have a, on the, it's like, it says dashboard where it all begins. So you can't miss this button. And then right here is a 17 minute walkthrough video where I had some members that use the system and they jumped on with Jamie and Jamie did the whole video. So we repurposed it and we put it in here for the getting started guide. So almost every section in here, we have the community community is is huge um and we obviously are keep we keep growing and yeah the membership is just um it's phenomenal and we love the name get fearless freedom because that's what a lot of people are seeking right now outside of their workplace but yeah we have specialized training and the, again these are not you know something new uh if you are new to listening to this video with linda uh, or myself then obviously you'll know that the the paid, like you said, the strategy between the two paid and the free is a great combination to have. But yeah, and then of course we have the side gig hustles, which a lot of people love, but we have the side gig hustles back there and we teach people how to do like the auctions and things like that. And, and it's really a love of my family. So my son, he helps my husband do that with the auctions. So it's nice because you can take your affiliate money and then, you know, put it into other assets or other, other avenues of making money. So and that's have, it's a good idea. And Tammy, I'm sure you've done this too. Is after after you get you start making some money, you have one stream of income. You want to start thinking multiple streams of income. That's and correct. like we, we both use Aweber. I'm an affiliate of Aweber. I make money from that. And that's yep. not that's not a high ticket thing, nope. but I make money from it. And when somebody needs an, you know, I might do a YouTube video if I'm talking exactly. about email marketing. I'm going to put my link to my my Aweber in yep. that. In and the getting I, started guide. Yep. Yeah. Right there where you guys can change it out. Yeah, exactly. And that's the cool part. What Linda just said, you can build in your actual like a Weber. You probably saw where you can switch it out to yours in there. Right. And yeah. We give that out to people. Wow. We have it all. <laughs> well, Matt, that's just, you, that's just you thinking about creating um, take creating more income from what you're already doing because you're using a Weber and then after you get you'll get used to learning how to use a Weber because that's something you got to use that you can put that in and like one of the things I've done I put a resource link in my YouTube videos like I got my a Weber in there to any tools that I use that mm -hmm. I can point people to and I get I make money from that I mean I don't have a whole funnel set up for them because it's not that kind of thing but you want to start thinking like that because that's how you create I think the most millionaires have, I think, on average, seven to 10 streams of income. Because yep. I know before I lost my job, that was my only stream of income. And when I lost that, I was screwed. Yeah, it's true to have multiple. Oh, yeah. totally. I totally agree with you. Yeah. 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 It's, like a, it's like a hub. It's like a base. And then, like you said, you can put your links in there and then make multiple streams. 
right you know, they, um, mm -hmm. from work you're already doing yeah from work you're already doing yeah you get one customer and one client and say hey you know you just made a nice chunk of money up front and then you can back them into whatever you're doing on the on the back end right yeah. and, and people when you start building authority people will come to you and ask you for resources like if somebody will say well how did you make that graphic um, and I use for my thumbnails, I use Canva and they have an affiliate program. I got my affiliate link there. I said, hey, you know, you could start with this for free, but you, know, you can take a look at my some of my thumbnails. That's what I've used to make my thumbnails with. I mean, that that kind of yeah. stuff because you're just doing it. Um, but I mean, if you're new and you haven't made any money, start on like one thing. That's my advice to you. One thing and until you start get, making some money. And I know for me, that took a really long time. And I'm not saying it's going to take you that long. I worked alone for a long time. And that first year, I mean, there was, I mean, I could send an email to support, but they really didn't. And I had no, I mean, I was sending traffic, paid traffic to a replicated website. And that's not what a replicated website's for. Right. <laughs> I know that now. Yeah. Yeah. It took us a long time. It took me a long time to say, oh my gosh. And then I, it took a long time for me to figure out what pages are converting, what pages are converting the highest in traffic. And so my, my pages, I mean, I have, you know, result after result in my paid group of when I run clicks for someone, a hundred clicks or 200 clicks, they're getting like 50 to 60% opt-in rate with our number one page. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's That's actually insane. I'm, I'm a huge, uh, author, you know, I'm a stickler for making sure that these pages that we have back there are the highest converting pages that we, you know, that we've put. So yeah. And, and even this one is pretty high. It's between the one here, make 200 to a thousand per day with just your email address. That one's getting a pretty big opt-in rate between 30 to 50 percent depending which on the one, time which one was the one that you said was get you were getting like a 50 percent opt-in rate is that that this one why aren't you making one, one here uh-huh and then of course just collecting the email only that one here i tell everybody if you want to run traffic with me or so and so almost everybody i just ran some clicks for my new guy um or let's see here he's he's new too tom but uh, let's see in here. I just wanted to. Sorry, I get all these notifications on my. No, YouTube. I know. We do too. This one here, of course, I'm live on my YouTube, but I have I have people that spy on my stuff. I just had a lady that literally almost took all of my uh, pages and my ideas, and she created a new <laughs> a new program. It's oh I'm really crazy. Yeah, they they know that my pages convert, so now she's using like plain white pages. But yeah, this is my. Um, I don't mind saying it live on my YouTube because she'll probably listen to it. But yeah, I mean, you're still not going to know who the vendors I use. And, it, you know, because I've gone through all of these these traffic vendors, even all of the Udemy ones. I mean, I know the top, t the top, top guys that have the buyer leads on their lists, you know, even through Udemy. So but yeah, they love my pages. They they run traffic all the time. But yeah, that's the one that is the highest converting right there and then these are for like people that are in like live good or anything like that because i have a lot of a base of like live good members and things because again those people if they don't see huge results in their business they're going to be searching you know so i make between four to six thousand dollars a week with program hoppers alone <laughs> because they don't understand that you got to do this you got to do the basic work well, you know. some of it too is, and what I find is most people, the reason they're doing this, that's they don't have a strong enough why, because you're going to run into, you know, obstacles and stuff with social media. You're going to have days you don't feel like working. If the reason you're doing this isn't, if your why isn't strong enough, you're, you'll quit and you'll go, or people, I see people come in, they leave, you don't see them for, you know, months or a year. And then they come, I mean, I have somebody that she's under me. I didn't sign her. I'm still on an auto ship. She's been doing this for like 30 years and she's never hit a rank doing MLM for like 30. And I'm thinking, OK, well, there's got to be a reason after I started to get to know her a little bit more. She's not consistent. She's not coachable because I've given her some suggestions to like that. She could get more leads and get talking to more people and anything. And I've signed hundreds of people on Facebook. So I think I know a little bit about it. And she, yeah, I give her sure do. and she doesn't. She doesn't do it. And then she goes, she'll, she'll be missing for months. 
but yeah. you won't post on Facebook and you can, nobody's going to follow you. And, and if you're trying to get some traction, you got to show up every day. When I say every day, I mean, seven days a week. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm, I, I've been taking, trying to take Sundays off after 12 years of doing this, but you got, because people aren't going to follow you. If you're not, they want to know that you're going to show up every single day. They want to know that you're going to be there. I agree. And that's why when I do my Zooms, you know, I teach people actually that Zoom strategy. We have an actual um, document in my paid group. I was going to tell you about that too, Linda. Obviously, you just joined yesterday. You're already off to the races and you're already making a hit here, splash in my community. But we have on Saturdays where you can invite. And that's the other thing is inviting it's a huge, huge strategy we're using. So I have the Saturday we have, you know, why aren't you earning money on Craigslist, for example? And then I have them all lined up. So then, you know, of course my paid training events, but you know, this is the thing, even with, even with people that like automation, they still want to learn and come on my learning Zooms, even though it's totally automated for them. They can set up a YouTube channel. They can drive traffic however they want to have that automation coming through, they still like to come and learn and, and build, like you say, that community atmosphere. So that's that's why I think this is growing so fast is, is because of my Zooms. Um, it's one of my top secrets, actually. <laughs> community um, is something that's a big part of it because um, mm-hmm. people want to feel, and, and there are people that they won't, they'll buy something, they won't do anything, but they just want to feel a part of something that's bigger than themselves. Because the truth is most people don't do anything. That's why I think there's like a 98% failure, you know, rate right in this this industry. And I'm not, I'm not smarter than most people. I work harder than most people. You, most people won't put the effort into this that I have. And you don't, I'm, you don't have to go cut 5,000 videos <laughs> to make no, money. You did a lot of videos. Oh my gosh. When you told me 5,000 videos. Wow. Yeah. I don't, don't, I don't even have that many. <laughs> well, I mean, part of my, I mean, and that's why on YouTube, I'm being very intentional. I'm trying to find long tail keywords that are at least five words or more, because those are the ones that I ranked. If I don't feel like I can do a video and I'm trying to do a video around something that's a pain point, like I'm going to post one next week. It's up. On, I got to do a few more things to it about the easiest ways to make money right now. And I went after, I'm going after a keyword and there's some things I actually did when I was broke. I wasn't making any money online. My unemployment ran out. I didn't have a job that you can easily do if you need to, or are you trying to come up with $500 to do, you know, you want to join this and you need $500. There's some mm-hmm. of those things that I, in the video, I personally did that you could go do right now, or maybe you just need 20 bucks to go buy some groceries. I'm see, I mean, I, I, two of them I did. I actually, I did do, I needed money and I needed it quick. I mean, I had no money coming in, I was putting everything on credit cards. So I'm trying to do a video like that because it's a pain point for people. Sure, does. sure does. Um, yeah. A lot of people are like, I need money now. Right, right. Mm-hmm. And if you're trying to go like ClickBank, you can do. But the thing is, if you don't have the right tools, you're going to take a sales page off of ClickBank. And ClickBank works. I've made money off of ClickBank. But you're going to be sending traffic to a sales page, which you don't want to do. And if you get a hit, you get a hit and somebody buys, great. But I'm talking about stuff that doesn't doesn't require any skill. You don't need to know. More. And if you have a business, this is a business. Tammy has a business. I have a business. You have to learn marketing. You do. Yep. Stuff that I did in the video, you don't have to learn marketing. Yeah. And I did try ClickBank. I never made any money on it. And I know why now, because of obviously I wasn't collecting the lead and no one really buys off of the first time the site. You always have to have a sales funnel. You know? There's no training with that. I mean, that's, you know, people don't think, and when I was saying to you earlier about you have to get around somebody, you can't do this by yourself. You need training, you need mentorship, call train mentorship or coaching for somebody that's done what you want to do that you can learn from them. If you want to learn blogging, find somebody who's an expert on blogging. They got a course, get it, figure it, find out how you can, you know, hang out with that person and learn from them because that's the way, I mean, you pick things if somebody, if you want to learn how to do um, Twitter, which I'm, I'm on Twitter, but I don't use it, get around somebody who's an expert on Twitter and they yep. probably have a course. I mean, I, I launched my own course and stuff on TikTok because I got such re- good results and I know what I'm doing on TikTok. I, I do. And I, I could probably do a YouTube course too, but you got, got to get around somebody with whatever you want to learn and, and learn from that person. Cause you can't do this by yourself. Yeah, I agree. Oh yeah, I totally agree. 
yeah, when um when my programmer says, well, what do you want for the products? And I'm just like, for sure, the Craigslist training, because I nail it all the time. <laughs> I'm like, leave person. something in all the time, you know what I mean? And it's like, you, you, you can post a, a classified ad. You can do it not just with Craigslist. There's hundreds of other classifieds. Like there's Kijiji up in Canada. I have Canadian members. There's Kijiji. So yeah. she started posting on Kijiji. She's like, Tammy, I'm getting all these responses, you know? And then I was just like, yeah, because people still love those classified ads. They don't, there's a lot of people on my list. They don't even have a Facebook account. Like the two last guys that just joined me, they don't even have a Facebook account. They're on my list because of my, my solo ads and my Craigslist trainings and, and you know, efforts I'm at. So and then you, one, of, one of them was just somebody from your YouTube channel. They thought you, yeah, thought you go. no, I mean, it's true. And I, I mean, YouTube, I, and I've always really loved YouTube, but YouTube's a different, ad. I'm not, and short video is really hot right now, but YouTube's a search engine. So you got to learn search engine optimization. You just don't want to go slap a video up on YouTube because it's probably not going to get seen where right. TikTok and Instagram and Facebook, it's, you can do something and get on. If you're, you don't want to put your face on camera, believe me, I didn't, but you probably want to get over that. I got over that real quick because I was in foreclosure at the time. I'm thinking, okay, you got to get over this, not wanting to get on camera. And, you, and your, first, yeah. your, your first videos, they'll suck. I, I mean, my first videos, they sucked. I just never <laughs> I done it before. <laughs> um, and the more you do it, the more comfortable you get. And with the short video, you can say something like in 15 to 30 seconds, you don't have to stay on long. It's not like, you know, what we're doing here or longer, like I do tutorials, we'll actually walk through, like I've showed people how to use ClickBank, how to find products on ClickBank. It's longer. It's a, it's a, a totally different animal, but yeah, you want to, you want to learn to get your face on camera. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. I've, I've consulted a lot of people about that and that's, that's what they do. They immediately, immediately start doing exactly what I'm saying. Cause they just, they're like that. They're like me. I mean, I was same way. We lost for homes to foreclosure and it's just like, okay, well, do you want to do this and not, I didn't want to get a job. I'm like, what do I have for a degree? I don't have a degree. So I'm just like, I'm going to just keep doing this. You know, you had two, rest you had two Mexican restaurants, didn't you? Yeah, we I did. I love Mexican food, Tammy. <laughs> do you? Oh yeah. yeah. We used to have two in upstate New York and oh my gosh, that was a lot of work. That's I why I was that. like, I love my days, 90 minutes. I'm on, I'm off. We go and goof off, you know? It's, it's just like rinse and repeat. And then when you get in that habit of lead generation, email your list, or I email people's lists, you know, it's like just so much time freedom compared to a restaurant, you know? And when people say, well, I want to start up a restaurant. I'm like, in 2023, you want to start a restaurant up? Yeah. Don't even talk to me because I wouldn't even remember how to start, how we started it up. You have to have hundreds of thousands of dollars. Number one, you know what I mean? Here, the top level is a thousand. You right. can get into this properly for twelve hundred to fifteen hundred dollars and start advertising it. You know what I mean? It's it's just so different. The 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 mindset once again, you know, is obviously you show up just like any business, but yeah, the time freedom that you can have with this versus any other brick and mortar or any of that stuff that you set set up, ugh. or even then trading. Trading is such a long, long learning curve with trading. Wow. You know. So it's, I've tried it. I've tried it in 2019. I was just like, nope, I can't do it. 2017, 2018. I just, I tr tried doing crypto and everything like that. My husband, he can do it, but I couldn't, I could not, I'm not a numbers person. I'm, I'm a people person. So <laughs> I like meeting thing, new people, you know, <laughs> the crypto thing, and then it's so volatile on this, like, well, Very. really having a home-based business, you don't need, I thought about before I lost my job, I was thinking about buying a franchise. You need at least a hundred thousand dollars to start at a minimum for most of them. And then like with COVID, a lot of people will had restaurants. They didn't make it. I mean, no, there's one guy didn't. that a friend of mine and I, we go to, he's got it's an Italian restaurant during COVID. You see him sitting in the back. He'd be working on, you know, like the bills and stuff. And he, the only thing that kept him alive was takeout. He would, he you'd place your order and then he'd bag it. Your takeout would be at the counter when, you know, he was trying to keep a distance with you. That's the only thing that like saved him from losing the whole thing. I believe it. 
and he and you have to have employees because you can't run a restaurant by yourself and you got and i've managed people for a long time you got all those issues with people people who get sick they can't come in they got something going on and you're trying to run a restaurant or something you can't say oh sorry you know half my staff called out sick today we're closed today you can't do that um because somebody people will go to another restaurant if you're not open and it's a lot i mean this, I don't have any employees. I mean, I did hire a VA for a while. You can do that if you want to outsource stuff. Um, but then keep in mind, you're managing somebody. And the guy I hired, I'd send him something and he'd screw it up. So that didn't last that long. He couldn't follow instructions. But you don't have to have employees with this. And, yeah. and I like, I mean, yeah, you can outsource stuff to a VA. But like with this software, with the Craigslist software, I just have to set it up now. If something's not working right, I probably would go to Tammy and say, okay, I'm not getting any leads. And actually I've got some ads up, I've already got, but if I wasn't getting any, I'd say there's something either wrong with um, the ads that, that I'm putting up the copy or to, to look at it, or you know, maybe I just don't have something quite set up. And so you don't have, not that you can't, you won't have any problems with this, but this is nowhere near you know, in 12 years, I have spent over $100,000, but I've hired people to coach me, joining programs. I've gone to the first live event I went to, and I was broke. I spent $3,000, and I put it on a credit card, and I had no money coming in. Um, and, I, you know, it's time you got to go to this event, so that's what I did. But you want to get around, you know, you don't have to go to live events, but I think if you have the opportunity now that we're out of COVID, um, I think the last three that I went to were all virtual because of COVID. Could yep. they, they wouldn't, but um, yeah. And the more you, time you spend, I spend around people like Tammy and stuff, because the stuff that I've learned, nothing against my parents, my parents didn't teach me. I didn't learn it in school and I have a college degree. I didn't learn it in college. And a lot of it's biblical. I say all of it's biblical. It points back to somewhere in the Bible. And like with money, we're all stewards. It's really not your money. <laughs> If you, if you can help somebody else, you can donate some money. Like I saw that movie, Sound of Freedom. I did too. I cried, I cried through most of that. And the sex trafficking, there's an organization I support. I donate to them every week. That's one. They have different projects. That's one I give to. I like the ones for orphans and bu building water wells. There are people that are so much worse off than you are. And you it's could be, I, I've been in bad situations myself. I've been in foreclosure and I didn't have any money. I pissed everybody off and I was cutting mold out of food. I'm grateful I'm not in that situation anymore, but I was in that. And you could be, you know, there's people that got in the student street, they're homeless. They've been homeless. I don't know if you know Rob Four, but he was be diagnosed with cancer. He was going through chemo radiation. He was homeless. He was sleeping on a urine stained mattress. Um, well, and he was he was working on building and he's made millions of dollars in this industry there's people that i mean he's he's there's a bunch of people in here i know that were homeless at one point they lost their house and i was close to it and when you lose if you don't have a house you're wondering where you're going to sleep at night and you're wondering where your next meal's coming from and i don't know maybe you're i, I mean i have somebody who's been contacting me she's been living in her car i did a video for her to try to show her what she could do on ClickBank. And if I, that were me, I, I've had a lot of motivation. I'd be, I'm probably more motivated than her, than she is. I wouldn't want to be in that, living in that car. I mean, I would have taken what I, the video I gave her and said, here, you can start doing this and it won't cost you any money, but you're going to have to put some time. I don't know what, because I haven't heard from her. She was begging me to help her. And that this business, it is about helping people, but you don't want to give too much of your time away for free because when I do that, I devalue my worth. Yeah, I agree. No, I'm right with you on the same page with that. Oh, yeah. I knew we yeah. would have a ton of co in common. I knew it. I just knew it as soon as I started talking to you and connecting with you. It's the truth, though. I saw that. And you know what? There's two ladies. We should do another Zoom sometime with them, or maybe they'll come Saturday. But they, this one lady, her name's Kendra. She's in my community. And she has a huge passion with the, uh, she knows the same gentleman you're talking about with the Sound of Freedom. Mm -hmm. um, with the, the child stuff, because it, it moved me so much. I'm just like, wow, this is a horrible thing. I'm hoping there's no hidden agenda. Like the, everything, it seems like everything that comes onto these screens nowadays, but I'm just saying, but how can it possibly be in this country, stuff like that happening, you know, but yeah, she's in my community. Now her, why her, why is to be able to, you know, make enough money to where she can give to that, that foundation, that community, you know what I mean? So there's, there's like people that are using this and utilizing the get fearless freedom income in order to support their 
higher, you know, the higher cause type thing. You know what I mean? But yeah, maybe Saturday you'll get to meet her. Sure. I'll tell her that you'll most likely be able to make it. Not everybody can make the Saturday Zooms, but but yeah, I have some amazing people in this community. And it just keeps getting better and better every time I'm like, oh, wow, you know, you're doing this or helping that. You know what I mean? It's so cool. Yeah, they I mean, it's and it depends on I mean, it does go back to your why. And Dr. Michael Beckwith said pain will push you until your vision pulls you. And I, I do think most people that come into this industry, they don't have a strong enough why. And if you go go to YouTube, if you watch a movie called 127 Hours, uh, James Franco plays a guy by the name of Aaron. The guy in the, it's a true story. The guy in the movie cuts his arm off. He gets stuck. He's climbing. He's found yeah. his arm gets stuck between these what about that one you should yeah. it's on youtube i'm sure it's on netflix it kind of gets bloody because it, it shows him actually cutting his arm off but he knew if he could didn't figure out a way to get out of there that he was going to die and it was either cut his arm off or die he, i mean he did all these things and that's what people do in this industry and i've done this you try all these things he was screaming he realized nobody would hear him his phone didn't work he tried to get his whole body up against their thing to see if he could move the rock enough to get his arm out that didn't work he's trying all these things he's hallucinating he's got all of his food was gone he's drinking his own urine he said listen he started like you know he was filming on a recorder saying if you find me my name is you know uh so and so and i live at but please contact my parents and his phone number because he didn't i mean he really thought he was going to die and he he ends up he cuts his arm off and then he's running he, he wrapped his whole thing and he took his jacket or whatever and this couple was hiking and they saw him he hadn't had anything to drink and he, he was you know you could see some of the blood coming out from when he he amputated his arm he actually just went down on these there was a puddle of water it was all muddy just started drinking it and the couple came over they gave him some water they called like a like a helivac to come get him to take him to the hospital and he's alive i mean they nbc news did a thing on him he's alive today he only had he, you know, he's got the one arm now. He still climbs. He had a, he got wow. married. He was a baby. But to, I mean, you flip in the state. You, I mean, he knew. I and and for me, my why. I mean, I I'm screwed if I if I don't figure this out. I mean, and for me, I was in foreclosure. I filed bankruptcy. I have got a ton of debt. I'm, I need to. I want to pay off. And I didn't have any of that before I got lost my job. I mean, I had one credit card with nothing on it before I lost my job. So this industry, I can do that. I can pay off. I got two mortgages on my house. And I can pay that all off. I mean, that's why and then it keeps, you know, and my pain has changed over time. I'm not going to get into that today, but I was in foreclosure and I pissed people. I pissed everybody off. I have friends and family who no longer speak to me about this. Yeah. You do need money. You can, if you need money to start something, you can go, I didn't have this. You can go drive Uber. You can do, DoorDash, you can do, and you can make some money quickly. Mm -hmm. If you need $500, I mean, if you're going to come into this, I'd say come in at least the $500 level. If you can only do the 200, then do that. But there's ways now that you can, I didn't have that. That didn't exist when I lost my job with you know Uber and all that, but that you can come up with money. If you can't, if there's not anybody that you can go and ask, I, there's different people. I asked to lend me money when I needed it. Um, and that were willing to help me out. So, I, I mean, yeah, you do need money. And you're not, the stuff that you get in the system, you, you could try to do it on your own. But if you don't know what you're doing, um, and there's copy, and Tammy knows how to write copy that gets people to write titles on emails, that, that they're going to open it. And that's a skill you have to master. So, yeah. Um, yeah so if you're thinking to thinking about it because i didn't have anything like this when i started i mean i literally i set up some pay-per-click ads i didn't know what i was doing <laughs> i spent three thousand dollars <laughs> i know that's why when people see it they're just like sometimes they take it for granted but i'm just like no like you have no idea like every like i had one lady tell me man for you you're sending out an email a day for only 47 a month she said i used to actually charge she or pay a hundred dollars for every time someone constructed an email for her to send to her leads yes. here it's 47 a month and i'm sending it every day so people like take a lot of the stuff that i've put together for granted you know what i mean they don't realize so, yeah they don't realize what what a package we got here yeah so, wow that's an amazing yeah. story though that's an amazing story that you, that you just told wow about the guy yeah, yeah, about that I, guy. Mean, yeah. I did hear about that People I, will be very uh, 
um, creative, I guess you could say. Well, when um, I saw that after, movie, times. that was, that movie was in the theater. I'm a big movie buff in 2010. Uh, and I saw it the first time in the theater. Now it's on YouTube for free. But that, and when I thought about it, I think that's just such a great analogy to this industry because mm -hmm. people try, they'll, they'll go try something and say, oh, that didn't work for me. And, and you do. And some of it is trial and error. And um, I, I mean, I don't want to say that there's programs out there that don't work, but there's people that teach things that don't work. And there's people that teach things. They made a lot of money, but it doesn't easily duplicate. And I don't want to, I'm not going to mention any names. I don't want to offend anybody. But if somebody else, and if you give me something and I can't make it work because I'm not, I mean, if you give it to somebody else and they don't do anything, that's not really a fair um, assessment of it because you didn't do anything. Right. Um, if I do something and go through the training and follow the training and implement it, I can't make it work. Probably what you've done, it doesn't easily duplicate. And there's, and there's a lot of people in this industry, they've made a lot of money, but what they've done just doesn't easily duplicate. And with network marketing, if you don't have duplication, you can't make six figures. And if anybody tells you differently, that's just a lie. I, cause I wanted, when I joined that network marketing company, the guy that aggressively recruited me, I told him, I said, I want to make six figures with this. And I did, I wanted, I did network marketing cause I wanted the residual income. And after I signed, I missed 350 people. I went to him. I said, something's wrong. I said, at the most I made maybe $3,000 in a month. I said, nobody's doing anything. Yeah. You know, I will, and I and I said, There's, I'm missing something. I said, I need a coach. And he goes, no, nah, you don't need a coach. He goes, just to go, keep signing more people. I, I agree that you need to be bringing new people in. But at that, for me to have brought that many people in, like Lisa Grossman signed 36 people or something into an MLM and got that to a million, you know, a million dollar a year income. It's the duplication. I mean, I, and I know that I, and, and Ray Higdon said, if you're just recruiting people, I mean, I bring 30 people in a month. I felt like a revolving door. He said, you're just going to get burned out. And I got burned out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I totally agree with that. Totally agree yeah. with that. Oh yeah. I know who Lisa, Gr I actually get, got to hear her speak at one of the events. She's really good. Lisa Grossman. You yeah, she's, she, she was in, she's, she was in jail at one point. She had a family business and that went, um south but she i mean she she really knows how to do duplication because if you only if you personally only signed 36 people yeah. say out of 10 you had 10 of them that were bringing in, you need people under you and that's such a valuable asset if you're doing network marketing to have somebody under you that knows how to recruit oh yeah they always want that's why i get so many you know requests they're like oh tammy can you join me in this i'm like no more of that, <laughs> I <need a bunch laughs> I'm, of that building, I'm building get fearless freedom i bet you you get the same thing and, and I, I, I get that. I mean, but yeah. the thing, you know, that thing that's going around now with the card, the, yeah. I've had three or four people now that have messaged me and, and they're people that I wouldn't even join because I want to join somebody that can, I can get some mentorship from this. And these people are just, they think, oh, you know, maybe I can get Linda to sign up and she'll bring a bunch of people in. Um, but there's a lot of that. And I, I mean, I get that. Um, and that's probably one of the things that turns me off about network marketing um, because there's, and, and the guy that got me into the thing I've been in, he, he just wouldn't let go of it. I mean, still, I told him three years ago, I said, if you're planning, mapping out your thing to the top, don't include me. I mean, yeah. I, don't, I said, I'm not gonna, I said, if I sign anybody, it's because I've got some YouTube videos. They found my YouTube video or somebody messaged me. They were looking for a product that the company has that I'm pointing them to it and they bought or something like that, or if there's something that I just think is really whatever, I might send an email out to my list, but I'm not actively recruiting this. You know, I'm not, I'm not, if you think I'm going to get back on Facebook. <laughs> yeah. Start well, I heard the cards didn't even go out yet or something. There was a glitch with it. And, and then the other thing I didn't like about it was, I'll just be honest with you. I mean, it's, it's just virtual money. It's not like it's like they're advertising dollar for dollar. Or it's not really dollar for dollar. I, I, I just, I don't know what once again, it's like clickbait. And I didn't, I showed it to my husband and he saw it because he was in finance and he's like, I don't know, that just doesn't sound to me like it's really the dollar for dollar. You're going in having to order virtual, you know, you're building up a virtual points, basically. I didn't look into it very much, but I just knew that I was, didn't want to be associated to it. <laughs> I didn't even look at it that, I mean, and I had I had three people already and I'm probably going to get more that asked me about it. And I didn't, I said, look, I don't want to waste your time or mine. I'm not going to even look at the video. Yeah. Uh, 
and and the and the people that are I wouldn't join them in something like that. They're, I mean, I, and that probably sounds snotty, but if I'm going to join something in somebody, I'm I'm going to go. I want to, I, and I've made that mistake in the past. I want to see who the top person is or the top people because they'll be able. I can learn a lot more from them. But it's just somebody that joined a network marketing company and they think, oh, they'll sign me and they'll make money off of every person I bring in. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I've made a mistake too. Yeah, yeah. Years past, but yeah, no, for me strictly, um, it just takes so many people to make $10,000 a month with any of those, you know? So with this, I was just like, eh, 10 people, you work with 10 people, you get a thousand dollars a person and you're making 10 grand. I mean, and you know, with tools and the picks and shovels, even that company, they need a marketing system and they're sending everybody and teaching the replicated site. And it's just, it just drives me crazy. I see it happen all the time now. You and know, most, and they're not collecting any leads. The companies never have any capture page systems. You know what I mean? Now, Do most of them, it. they just give you a replicated website. Yep. And there's not the even a site. It's no collecting the email or nothing like that. Right. There's no set there. The, some of them don't even have a sales page that you can give to somebody for information. And, it, yeah. and network marketing is not really about learning how to market. I mean, right you know what I mean? It's usually they got a product and, and I don't want to bash the industry because I mean, the company I, that I was with since 20, I use the products. I get them for free because I had enough people and you know, I have some residual income, mm -hmm. but I, I mean, I just don't, they're, they're, if, for me to do network marketing again, there's going to have to be something that's like, you know, blowing me over, that, like, <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> yeah. And I'm the guy that he's still like, I mean, because I'm probably one of the few people that's I stayed on an auto ship um, and I did that because I'm using the products and I am getting them for free. Um, but he, I mean, he's still like, he'll leave me messages when they're running something. I'm thinking, you know, bud, you need to let this go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll leave me messages on Facebook. And I'm thinking I'm not from, and he, he got to a very high rank that he was making about 60 grand a month from it. I mean, he was, I was talking to like hundred, 150 people a day. He was talking to 300. I mean, I know him and his wife were in a really bad, they lost their car, you know, the car got repossessed. They were getting, they were getting they were on the verge of getting kicked out of an apartment they were living in. Wow. So he just, and he's got two little kids and he was like, and he, he does know how to hustle, but I said, yeah, you're making $60,000. And I'm lucky if I even made $3,000 on a month where I signed and that was jumpstart bonuses. I don't want to do this anymore. And I, I got, I was so, I mean, the burnout, like it just kind of sticks with you. I don't know if you've ever been burned out. You just, okay. it, it, take, it could take you from something that you absolutely love to like, I don't want to do this anymore. So, oh, um, yeah. yeah, yeah marketing marketing. Space is, is definitely hard because it sounds all good. The comp plan sounds all good, but you have to have so many people, so many people in order to make any decent money, you know? Most people never make enough. Most auto ships are about $150 a month. Most people never even make enough money to cover the auto ship. It's true. Yeah, it's true. Yep. Yeah, but live good. Everybody's all over that because it's only $19. I had a bunch of people ask me about that one too. <laughs> yeah, me too. I still don't see there's, there's, it's just going to be thousands and thousands of people you got to put into that. You know, yeah. it's the same thing. I was just like, no, you guys can keep that. <laughs> you know? Yeah. No, I know. And I, the product's probably it's just something, I don't know. It has to be absolutely something, a game changer for me to even look at it. I know, I know exactly what you're saying. Cause you know, like you say, this is what we do. This is a full time for us. You know what I mean? And I don't want to bash the industry because there are a lot of good companies that have good products that have helped people. But I mean, that's why, I mean, network marketing, I think is harder than doing something like affiliate marketing, but you still have to learn. I mean, unless, if, unless you have a huge base, I mean, the person that pops into my um, head is Robert Hollis. Um, cause he, and he's in the same company that I've been on an auto ship and he's, I think he, he just hit or he's close. It's him and his wife. They're close to like the net, the, net, the highest, whatever the highest rank is. And, but he, um, I mean, he's been doing it for a long time. He went, actually went to Europe for a week and made a whole team over there that he was helping people. And I'm not saying it doesn't work. It does, but it's just so much harder because yeah, I mean, I had all those people, nobody was doing anything. And most of them can't even sign. Most people can't sign a person into anything. Yeah. But that's Yeah. And they that's teach going true. to their family and friends, which don't work. Right. You know, once again. Right. And, and I never did that. Reading. Yeah. I never did it either. But I mean, well, way back I did. 
But I mean, again, they're just going to be like, well, I don't want to do that. And, you know, then the person gets all disappointed. That's why I said member to member, instant pay um, is, is the best business model for anyone, for a newbie to start out with, you know, because otherwise they're just going to get disappointed. They're going to be taught wrong and everything like that. So Wait, I almost awesome. think this should be a training in my back office today of what we've done. done? <laughs> put it in the in a oh, I'd be section. glad to do one more on like what I've done with video um okay. sharing some stuff about like TikTok and um All right. TikTok and Instagram you um, know what I was actually looking for someone so if you want if you want to I'd love to have your training in the back office for the TikTok that'd be okay. great okay um right. Right. and I, I, I mean, that. what what I've done is too I mean I take my TikToks I've got an app on my phone I take the watermark off and I'm taking it now. I can't, I'm not doing Instagram right now, but putting them on Instagram, Facebook. I got on Clapper, which is a um, site like TikTok. It's short video. It's a newer oh, site. Yeah. That just launched. yeah. And I, and I, I take that one video and just, I'm putting it in a bunch of different places. You can put it on Pinterest. You can put it on YouTube. They're all doing short video and you're getting your video that want just one video out. To, I mean, I'd be glad to share what I've been doing and I'll share the challenges because when I got on TikTok, the, um, the organic reach was insane. It's not that now because I was putting videos up and I, and I do have a formula that I'll share um, that I was doing. I was getting videos that were getting a million views in 24 hours. I had another one got 48 uh, in 48 hours, got 2 million views. It's not that it's not as good as it was. It's still, and then TikTok said about a year later, they really don't like to make money online. Niche. I'll share all that. Right. I remember that. Yeah. Um, but I think, you know, if so, and I do think TikTok's probably the easiest platform. I mean, I saw the reason I got on it was I saw people that have never gotten any results in this industry getting leads and sales. And the truth is, most people don't know how to generate leads. If you can't generate any leads, I, I, I think it's really hard to make money. But yeah, and I, I saw that and I thought, well, I'm, and I took what I learned from like seven or eight YouTube courses and just applied that on TikTok. And then I got that account to tw over 200,000. I was adding like 30,000 followers in a day, but that's from viral videos. You're not, every video you put up, is not going to get a lot of views. It's just the way that it is. Yeah. Um, Abby, if you want, I'd be able to put something together. I even have my own free ebook. If you want me, I can get that out. Wow. That's cool. Yeah. That's going to yeah. be really valuable for your members. You could even give that away as a bonus for anyone that joins you and give fearless freedom. <laughs> Yeah, no, and I, um, I, I mean, um, yeah, no, I, and there's not, there's not, most people don't, if you have a business, you got to learn marketing. Most people don't learn that, Tammy. You right. can't, um, and I took some marketing courses in college, but college didn't really, and it took some college business courses. Anything, yeah. <laughs> about, about marketing, do they? No. <laughs> they don't really no. teach anything about business either. <laughs> yeah, they don't even know anything about a funnel or anything like that that we've learned online right. it's, it's crazy wow all right well that's cool well yeah so we'll yeah make sure that um well of course this is recorded so we'll make sure that you get a copy of this i'll send it to you or if you want to grab it off of my youtube channel okay. but um it's going to be great to have you in this community i'm so excited um i always get like oh my gosh linda's <laughs> joining when i saw you come in yesterday um but yeah it's going to be fun because obviously your value you're going to give so much value to your, your base right now, you know, and um, yeah, we're going to take this to the next level. So yeah. Yeah. I want to get back to making like $14,000 in a month. Absolutely. <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> that's only 14 people. <laughs> it's only, it's only, if you're selling something that's a thousand dollars, it's only 14 sales. That's another thing that I learned. You want to sell something. I'd say that you can make at least a thousand dollars. If you're doing something that's a hundred dollars, you want to make a thousand. Think about it, it's 10 sales. It's a lot yeah. harder to get 10 sales than it is to get one. And I realized that when I relaunched this, I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow, the 200, 300. Then as soon as I added the 500 and then the thousand, it's like doubled and tripled my membership. It's just like people wanted it. I'm just like, okay, <laughs> you know, it's like, and then it's still right there to where it's still automated. You know, you go any higher than a thousand and it's still, it's not a very automated price point. You know what I mean? But with with this price point almost everybody has a grand you know what i mean to spend so i think it's it's great 
So, yeah, thousands a lot more because another thing, and that's how I made the fourteen thousand. I that was for me, and there's higher levels. I got in like at a thirty five hundred dollar level, and a lot of people, and I, I did have, and somebody bought a twenty five thousand dollar product from me, which, but when you start getting into that that price level, I don't know if you remember Mob. Do you remember? Oh yeah, I do. They got shut. Oh, they, had, they got shut down. They had it on the back end. It was a twenty-five thousand dollars mastermind that you had to own it. That own on it, and the FTC came in and said, "No, no, no! You can't force people to own it. Own it." And they shut them down. A lot of other high-ticket programs stopped doing that. Like if it was a five thousand dollars thing, that, that now you can promote it even if you don't own it because twenty-five thousand dollars. I mean. Either the person has that kind of money sitting around. Well, this person took a payment plan too, or they're taking like a second mortgage out um, on their house or something like that. And for a lot of people, they're probably never going to own that back. I'm just being realistic. Yeah. Uh, but right. th- for that kind, when you start getting in, and and that was the commission I made that was like 6,200. I mean, believe me, it's great making that kind of money in a single day, but a lot of people are just, as soon as they see that a thousand dollars, I think for a lot of people, it's a lot more manageable or 500. And if people can't do the thousand, the 500, because at least at the, you get the software at the 500, right? That's correct. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I have um, a whole PDF too. Um, that is in my Facebook group and a whole PDF a breakdown of every single level, what a person gets in it. Um, yeah. So if they request that, I'll, you know, you'll be able to send that zip that right over. Okay. But yeah, it's uh it's right. It's right in there. It's broken down. The, of course, the website explains everything that people get mm-hmm. uh, with the, the three levels. But yeah, it's um, it's amazing to to know that, you know, people with the instead of going and getting an extra job or something like that, they can plug into this community and start making really great money right away. Like I said, it's it's referral based, you know, instant commission. You don't have to learn much how to set things up. It's already done it back there for people. No, and the fact that because I I didn't have any of this when I started. I mean, and I actually I was I was working without an autoresponder for how long? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to follow up with people manually. No way. We don't do that here. <laughs> yeah. No. No. You can. You can. But I don't recommend it. Yeah. Don't recommend it either. It, it's just a time waste. And like I said, ninety minutes. You know, if you can set your intention and and do ninety minutes a day. You know, it's like a snowball. It just, you know, like that, that book, you know, the slight edge and you just keep doing it and doing it, doing it over and over. I even have the slight edge book in my, in my Facebook group for people to, to read it and access it. But yeah, it it would be something that, you know, we can put even in the back office of GFF, but it has definitely been a pleasure. Um, We'll go ahead and end the recording here on our YouTube. And I think we've been talking for quite a while. So we should go. go. All right. Now, this has been great. great. I'll go ahead and stop the live stream and then the recording. And then, of course, if if um, if you're listening, make sure you go to Linda's site. And if you're listening to this recording, make sure you go to her site and check it out because she'll have a link and exactly what we're talking about in the description. Exactly. And we'll see you guys all on the inside. How about we leave it at, at that?